Hello, and welcome back to the channel. Have you ever wondered whether you should use drizzle in your solar processing? Do you even know what it is? Let's take a look. Drizzle is a digital image processing method. Technically, it's known as Pixel Variable Linear Reconstruction. It was invented by NASA astronomers to improve the resolution of Hubble Deep Space images. What are the benefits of drizzle? It can remove the effects of square pixel distortion in images. It creates a slightly larger image with improved resolution. It can also help compensate for undersampled images. It takes each pixel and expands it into 2x2 two two pixels, making it easier to see the faint details. When should you use drizzle? The benefits of drizzle are really seen when your data is undersampled. Undersampled means that your camera is sampling the data with a lower resolution than the resolution of the data that falls on the camera sensor. And whether you are undersampled or not depends upon the seeing. It's particularly helpful when processing large amounts of data, many hundreds or thousands of frames, which often happens in solar imaging. Your sampling changes with your focal length as well. So in other words, drizzle might not be helpful with a full disk image, but if you use a Barlow in series with your camera, Drizzle might improve the resolution of the final image, and all this depends upon the seeing. When the seeing is better, you tend to be more undersampled than when the seeing is poor. So that's when Drizzle might really help. What is seeing? Astronomical seeing is a way to define how small details can be resolved. Since the major limiting factor is our atmosphere, it's basically asking how large is the smallest detail that the sky will allow to be resolved in this situation. The more smooth the airflow is, the smaller those details will be, and thus the smaller your pixels need to be in order to capture them. The smooth airflow means that air currents tend to be more in parallel and are not intermixing or turbulent. Seeing varies tremendously during the day, especially as the sun rises and heats up the atmosphere. Seeing is often the best early in the morning. Seeing will generally be better with smaller apertures and better with shorter exposures, that is 10 milliseconds or less. So having said all that, what's the advice? The reality is while experienced observers can get a good sense of the seeing with visual observation, for most of us, it's hard to tell. And the seeing can change dramatically between the time you look in the eyepiece and the time you replace the eyepiece with a camera and refocus. Let's say you've taken images at f7 of the full disk and images at f14 with a 2x Barlow. My suggestion would be to process one image at each focal ratio with the drizzle off and then again exactly the same way with drizzle at 1.5x. Then highly magnify each result and see which image is better. Once you've determined which image is better, you can process all the rest of your images at that focal length the same way. And as these examples show, sometimes drizzle will reduce noise at the expense of decreased sharpness. Of course, you can increase sharpness and decrease noise with additional processing steps. At the end of the day, it's a judgment call and personal preference. If there's no difference or little difference, I'll skip the drizzle step as it adds significantly to computational requirements and it quadruples processing time for auto stackered. But often the drizzle result looks better. I'm showing now multiple examples I've captured at focal ratios from F7 to F28 and under a wide variety of seeing conditions. In some, there's very little difference. In others, it's dramatic. I hope you can see why I recommend trying one image at each focal length with and without drizzle before you complete further processing steps. I've described these steps in other videos on this channel. If you found this helpful, don't forget to click the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.